Living in a residence hall, I feel a sense of belonging. There's so many activities that build community. It's really easy to go to classes in the morning. It's only a 10-minute walk. There's tons of food options available. I think I like the closeness to the actual like academic buildings and all those other things, and then I'm more engaged. As a transfer student, I knew the value of being on campus in the action. Living on South Campus is very convenient because there's the marketplace is on one side, the union is on the other. Seabird Hall has a learning community, the FYC, which stands for First Year Collegians. There's kind of a more personal community. Uh, you get to know more of the people. I wanted to live on South, and then the idea of living in an honors dorm sounded really nice too, and so Bradley was my first choice. I'm in a triple. We have one bed, one desk, one dresser, and one closet space for each of us. And we have it arranged where everything's against the wall, and so we have a lot of floor space open in the middle. I live on the floor with all girls, but we also hang out with the guys on the top floor, and there's guys on the bottom floor. My room is bunked, and we have the tables connected together, and there's closet space for each one of us. And then we put up lights all over the room to add a kind of atmosphere. The bathroom has a community sink with private rooms with toilets and showers. On my floor, there are two sets of four bathroom pods, and for each one, there's a sink, um, a shower, and a toilet, and then you can lock the door, and it's like your own personal bathroom. I actually chose to live in Dracut based off recommendations from my cousins, who are both Ohio State students. I have three other roommates since we live in a quad style setup. The common area has four desks. There's two built-in desks on one side and two movable on the other side. The bedroom has a pair of bunk beds, four closets, two are built in and there's one at each end of the bunks. We also decorate our room. I'm a huge sports guy, so we have sports posters up. My bathroom has a shower, a sink, and a toilet, two shelves, as well as four racks to hang towels. This is a living community, so all of the first year Mount Scholars are living together. And we just got very uh, lucky with this space. It's a brand new building. Rooms are air conditioned and have floor to ceiling windows. Each floor has two bathrooms, each with a community sink, and individual private rooms with shower and toilet. There is a study and lounge space on each floor. Faculty members are able to engage with uh, students outside the classroom here in the residence halls and have great interactions. One of the places I love to hang out the most is the kitchen uh, because it's a very family-oriented type feel to it. It's a great atmosphere in there. We have a great kitchen table that reminds me of home. i say the biggest thing that's made Dracut a home away from home is getting involved in the Dracut Tower Community Council. As part of my role, I have to go to different floors and hang up flyers, announcing different events. I have a small group that I work with. And just being able to help out and do something that I love doing really helps make it feel more like home. One of the main spots that we like to catch a bite to eat is open uh, till midnight almost every day of the week. So uh, that's traditional dining, and then curl is uh, just grab and go. So there's a lot of different options just on North Campus. I think the best part of living in Lincoln is the common area. It's a place to bring the group together. We leave our door open, we meet new people, we have a community of friends. It's like coming home to your family. There are four rooms per suite and two to four residents live per room. Our common area is one big collaboration of all the different lives that each of my suite mates lead. The bathroom in Lincoln is set up with a few stalls, two showers, and enough room for all the residents I live with. My study area is very calm and peaceful, um, very work-focused and oriented so that we can, you know, get down to business when we have to. And then in my bedroom, there's a setup with two beds, dressers, closet space, and loftable beds provided.
There is regular housekeeping and maintenance staff. A full-time live-in hall director. We have internet access. There's cable TV. And then there's laundry, uh, washers and dryers. There's a swipe key, so you must use your student ID card in order to get into the building. Every hall has the Buckeye Readership Program where one can access newspapers. There is also a micro fridge where we can do mac and cheese. The front desk is there to help you. They can get you games, movies, kitchen supplies, and they can help you with your pickup and delivery. I like to study on the floor because there's a futon right outside. There's also a lounge space where I can study within my own comfort zone. There's a whole separate private study area behind um, a glass wall, and there there are also more kind of private desks with chairs and tables for people to study. People come to the lobby space and kitchen space to hang out. People come to watch the football games, or once a week we have a movie night. The lobby space has a piano, has a TV, has a ping pong table for residents to enjoy. Resident advisors are assigned to every floor to help with the transition to college. The RAs are always friendly and helpful. The senior staff's easy to talk to. My RA was kind of the glue that bonded all the girls together. For me, I thought the transition moving onto campus was actually pretty easy and pretty smooth. I really felt that I've gotten to know a lot of the people on my floor. We do a lot of activities together. As a transfer student, it was just so exciting to be a part of such a proud and excited school. Like, everyone here is just so ready for their future. I think living here and just being a part of the OSU community really helps you realize that you do belong. It's like coming back home to a second home. 